Hey everybody, it's David and I'm back with another video. So today is an, the uh, next um, installment of my uh, journey through my CD collection. This is for the W's. Um, I think this is part 4 or 5. I forgot to check before I did this video. Um, but today is pretty much one artist. Um, He's been in the Christian music um, since about 2002, 2003. So he's pretty, a, a fairly new artist. Um, but um, that artist is Matthew West. And if you don't know who Matthew West is, he's a contemporary Christian artist. Primarily in the pop genre, you know, he can, he can, he doesn't rock out too hard, but he does have a lot of, um, tearjerker songs, I guess is what you would, what you call them, but, you know, but most of them are really good. And this is his first album, Happy. From uh, 2003. Um, this, of course, has his big. Well, it might not be his biggest hit now, but this has more on it. That's his, uh, his first major hit. Um, and um, You Know Where to Find Me is a pretty good song as well. Um, this is on the uh, Universal South label from 2003. And this is Matthew West's debut Happy um, album. And he followed that up with History in 2005. And this also was on Universal South. This has got hits Next Thing You Know and Only Grace. Yeah, and the, the day before, he used a pretty good song as well, so. Still, you know, mainly pop music, but it's pretty good. And this is Sellout. This was also released in 2005. This was a... You can only buy this. You can only buy this CD at his show, as his shows on his tour, and they kept selling out with every tour that he was on. They kept selling out the album. So Universal South said, well, "Let's just release it." And so here we go. Um, you know, it's it's all right. Um. Probably This Ordinary Life is my favorite song off this album. Um, really, to tell you the truth, I only listened to it once. And just... Put it in the collection. And I uh, haven't really looked at it much since then. So... But I think I need to give this one another listen. This is Adam West... Or Adam West, yeah. Matthew West... Um, album sellout from 2005. This would basically be called a reissue of a previous album that he could only get at his, at his tours. So, um, next up is s uh, something to say. This is his third studio album from 2008 um, this is, he's now moved to the Sparrow record label which is a Christian uh, record label um, this has got um, something to say and the the emotion the, the emotions um, 
You are everything. And Save a place for me. Are good songs off this album. Um, Save a place for me is like I was telling you. He does some tear jerk jerker songs. Um, that's one of them. Where a family member dies. And he's saying, he's singing, save a place for me at the table when we get to heaven and I'll be right there beside you. Because I'll have so much to tell you about what happened after you left. Something to save, Matthew West. Uh, the story of of your life. <coughs> uh, Sparrow Records, 2010. The fourth album in his in his uh, studio, fourth studio album that he put out. This has got um, the story of your life. Strong enough. Own Little World. Yeah. This is a pretty good album. Um, yeah. Here's his first Christmas album, The Heart of Christmas, from 2011, on Sparrow Records. Um, this has got uh, Come On Christmas, with The Heart of Christmas, um, Leaving Heaven with uh, Vince Gill, a duet with Vince Gill, um, One Last Christmas, um, <coughs> Give This Christmas Away with Amy Grant. Uh, Christmas Makes Me Cry with uh, Mandisa. And The Day After Christmas. Plus also normal ones like Jingle Bells, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, Silent Night, Oh Holy Night, Oh Come All Ye Faithful. <coughs> oh, sorry pretty good Christmas album um, some sad songs too but you know here's the light of Christmas from 2012 on Sparrow Records. This is his fifth album. This has Hello, My Name Is, uh, Forgiveness, um, Do Something, and The Power of a Prayer. Um, plus a few other really good songs. This is still, you know, the normal pop stuff that he's been, he was doing. Um, yeah, it's not to me not his one of his best albums. To me his best album is Um Probably Happy, but you know still a good album. Then you got Live Forever. This came out in twenty thirteen. No, sorry, 2015 on uh, Sparrow Records. This has got um, Day One, Grace Wins, um, Live Forever. Probably Grace Wins is probably another one of his 
biggest hits up there with more and only grace and strong enough but yeah probably grace wins is probably my favorite um, song that he's ever done And here's his second second album, Christmas album. Uh, this is Unto Us, um, 2016. This features um, Unto Us. Um, let's see. Uh, Christmas to Believe In and Join the Angels. Um, plus songs that were on his previous um, Christmas album, Come On Christmas, The Heart of Christmas, Oh Holy Night, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. This has also got a, si a version of Silent Night with um, Leanna Crawford. So, you yeah. know. A good Christmas album, but it's just a Christmas album. It's nothing, you know, major or anything. But it's still good. This is All In. This is his seventh studio album from 2017 on Sparrow Records. This has, um, all in broken things um amen and another one of those uh kind of sad tearjerker songs beautiful things we miss um but you know other than that it's a good good album i like it um yeah And this is his Greatest Hits album from 2019 on Sparrow Records. Just his Greatest Hits. So you got uh, Broken Things, Hello My Name Is, Strong Enough, uh, Grace Wins, um, Day One, All In, Do Something, Only Grace, More. This is his album from 2020 called Brand New. This is his eighth studio album. Again, still on Sparrow Records. And this one's got probably the best out, best song on here is um, Truth Be Told. It's really good. Um, Walk in Miracles is another good one. So good, good album. Here's his third Christmas album for 2020 called We Need Christmas. And it's got original songs, We Need Christmas, Make Way, The Hope of Christmas, Christmas Through the Years. Oh. His best Thanksgiving song, Gobble Gobble. That's a good song. I like that. And then, of course, uh, Come On Christmas, a live version. Um, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, live version. And Oh Holy Night, live. Plus, um, I'll Be Home for Christmas. Winter Wonderland, Away in a Manger. There you go. Matthew West, Christmas. And finally, his latest album from earlier this year called Your Story, or My Story, Your Glory. This is a double album 
one CD is my story, and the other the other uh, disc is Thor Glory. Um, so on one disc is just you know songs about life and living living and all that, um, like my story, your glory, um, what a day, um, greatest hits. A song called Before You Ask Her. Um, talking about his daughters. Before you um, ask her to marry you, you, you know, make sure you're good, you know, you know well, I don't know, good, you're good enough for her or whatever. Um, and then the, the final song on the first side, on the first disc is called The Last Song, which is an awesome <coughs> awesome uh song called you know it talks about what if this was the last song i ever wrote you know and what would you know yeah and then disc two is more worship i guess you say but not really worship like the worship music that's out there today Praise the Lord, to God, to God be the glory. That's a good song. Um, um, Jesus is better is a good song too. Yep. So there you go. Sorry, I've been rambling on and all this stuff, but. You know, sometimes I get like that. Um, so if you guys like that video, hit the like button. If not, hit, um, it's okay. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time.